All right, guys, we're gonna talk about the ax hand progression into the same side knee. The reason we're gonna do that is because a lot of times some of the flow drills that we've done over a long period of time, and also when we make contact on somebody, we end up grabbing or touching something, which is nice to be able to gain control over shoulder, ideally, yes, half clinching on the neck, or even an arm that I end up getting connect to, connected to. But if I go here and I feel some type of stimulus, I wanna throw that same side knee immediately. That's what this progression is about today. So wherever you end up grabbing, if you're working with somebody, boom, same side knee. Okay, other side, here, same side knee. And start thinking about your next move. Maybe it's a flank or something else. But the idea is, is work that ax hand, shadow box it first, look and think, visualize. Where did I just hit on a guy? I'm offset, hit him in the neck, clinch, switch, same side knee, come back down, assess. Other side, strike. Same side knee, back down. Start looking at my next move. Work up to 50% and work to 100% and just work that escalation so that you're getting good connection with what you're doing here. It's boom, boom. That's the way it should look, okay? Here, this guy's head's a little jacked up, but we'll work with what we got. Boom, boom. I'm already looking for what's next. That's why I threw the elbow. But I want you guys to focus on ax, to clinch the same side knee. Work that on both sides. And shadow box, 50%, 100%. And then the last two, I want you guys to do full power and full follow through. What does that mean? You guys know, I always say, your last reps are your best ones, right? So if I'm here, draw, look for the blade, flank out of the way. So I'm looking at what's next. Good follow through, eyes up, head up. Whether you call 911 or whatever the context you're giving yourself, finish strong. See you guys on the next one.